Hello peeps and welcome back to Project Hospital. Um, welcome back to the Traumatology DLC. Yes, oh, somebody's arriving. Now, uh, you will notice up here uh, where we've been working on successfully finished 10 accident events in a row. We are now at 9 out of 10. Now, if you've been watching this series, you'll be like, well, what happened? How did you get this far? Um, I did actually uh, do a bunch of streams. So if you would like to see me do these um, accident events and then do check out the live streams there is a link in the description below uh, so that you can watch those should you uh, so choose uh, should you wish now um, today what we are going to do is um, uh, do one more that's what we want to do we want to do a one more um, and get this event completed with this event completed I'm not entirely sure if it means that We'll hit 12 and that'll be uh, considered done or if there's going to be one more afterwards. There's probably going to be one more afterwards, isn't there? Um, but getting this done will increase ambulance patients per day to 10. Um, so that's that's uh, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, up for that. Up for that. So um, what we need to do is come up here and we want accident event. We're going to hit this button. Boom. We'll deal with... Um, him in, the mo in a moment. Oh, where did the breaking news? There it is. A major incident has been declared after a train crash. Rescue teams, rescue teams are on uh, scene and emergency services are treating the wounded. Hospitals across the region must prepare for an increased number of seriously injured patients. We're going to take them all over as we usually do and here they, are, here they are. Here is the list. So we're going to instantly put them all on blue alert so that... Um, I should be more aware when one comes in, although they all tend to come in pretty sharpish, don't they? Pretty sharpish. Um, so there's quite a few of them. We'll uh, we'll 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 wait for them uh, to start arriving and see what needs to be done. Daytime has arrived at the moment. All the ambulances are just leaving. All just leaving. The chopper's gone. We've got staff changeover happening. Kind of pleased that's largely happening. Um, oh, the chopper is actually back. Uh, Please, that we're sort of over the worst of that. Look, here we go. We've got this is three teams ready to go. Four. Here they all come rushing in. Fantastic. So, uh, who do we have here? Uh, Jane. Um, uh ohs. Uh ohs. We could have the intracranial hemorrhaging, couldn't we? Yes, we could. Um, so, what we're going to do here is send her straight um, for the CT. Um, as always, it is the most uh, imperative course of action. Um, what do we have over here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's get pressure bandage, blood transfusion, um, and emergency care. Yeah, so we're dealing with this unstoppable uh, bleeding. We're stopping the unstoppable bleeding. Um, the sphere hemorrhaging, all that is being done. We have a gentleman here. Um, he's been kicking around for a while. He actually needs to go to cardiography. So we are going to uh, arrange that, uh, get him off of this department. In fact, uh, release him. Uh, I'm not interested in him anymore. So are you coming to this bed here? No, you're not going into trauma two. You're going into what? Trauma five. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, right, well, we're going to do a physical here, but it looks like we might be able to instantly uh, send Lisa Green away. Lisa Green might be the easiest one uh, for this event. Uh, we're clearly uh, short-staffed here, all the nurses, no doctors. It's fine, it's absolutely fine. So that gentleman is returning. So all the trauma rooms are actually full at the moment, so we do need to get um lisa green out that's that is a priority at the moment um we don't seem to be the game doesn't seem to be doing that thing where these pop up and pause the game that's going to be problematic for me if it's not going to be doing that um oh yeah he can go to orthopedy oh hang on he wasn't actually under my that's fine. Okay, so he is instantly leaving. That's wonderful. Uh, maybe it's going to do it for her. It has. Okay. Worry not then. We're also going to send you to orthopedy. Um, but what we will do, uh, 
we need to do an upper limb x-ray. We are going to obviously keep her in this uh, situation at the upper limb because, you know, all the reasons. Um, this lady here, again, looks like uh, she's not in any particular rush. In fact, what we might be able to do... Oh, I was just thinking we'll send her straight to orthopedy. But this gentleman left and made room. That's so that that's fine here. You're leaving. Wonderful. Um oh oh game paused. So here we are. Linda Cole is a bit of a concern. Let's do a physical. Um yeah, we're going to do a physical. Let's also do a fast. I don't think a fast actually works for this particular illness, but we'll we'll give it a go. Uh oh, Linda King. Hello, Linda King. Um, right, excellent, yes, to orthopedy with you, and we're going to do a lower limb x-ray, so a lot of these are quite easy, aren't they, they're, they're, they're not too bad, we're able to get them off of trauma, uh, which is uh, out of the ER, which is uh, exactly what we want really, we, we, we don't want them kicking around here. Um, I think we've got a lot of them in, not all of them, here comes another one. Here comes another pharmacy is too small. Oh, it's fine. It's two pharmacies. They'll go to the other one. It's fine. Uh, it, it, so, it does sometimes complain about this particular pharmacy, but there's that ginagorous one upstairs. So uh, he's looking a bit worse for wear, isn't he? Did they absolutely deal with him? Oh, I think they did. Okay, good. Because he, he was a bit worrisome, wasn't he? Um, oh, look, it did work. The fast did get it. Perfect. So we're going to send her straight to cardiology and get her that surgery that she requires so she can uh, leave. Uh, this is the lady that's just come in. Um, pretty rough, eh? We've got a pretty rough situation here. Um, let's get her some oxygen um, and then we're going to send her for the uh, CT. Get that done just to see if we have this uh, skull basis fracture, uh, that's that's what I want to uh, want to know. Um, Jane Anderson, hello. What is going on? Um, so, okay, we we don't have this sort of really awful intracranial hemorrhaging. That's that's not occurring. That's a relief. Um, to be honest, that is a relief. Um, so she's probably almost about ready to go to. Um, neurology, although we might see if we've got this problem here. Um, but otherwise, she she should be she should be fine. Um, they've been rushed in. I didn't get to see them. There they are. Oh, tra trauma two. Into trauma two. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, once they're stable, we'll send them <laughs> straight to orthopedy. There we go. Straight to orthopedy. Lower limb x-ray. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. Thank you. It's probably getting quite busy in orthopedia. Let's have a look. Mm, well, okay. Nurses station is critical. It is reading as critical. They are rushed off their feet. Um, probably could do with some more nurses up there. It's amazing with these ex accident events, actually, how busy orthopedia has been getting. I think they're the floor below, aren't they? Is this? I think this is orthopedia here. Where's my my signage yeah you can see here this sign oh this sign says orthopedia this way so yeah um let's have a look yeah look they've only got and they've got plenty of right i think what we will do then is see about um getting at least one more nurse um so we're looking for a nurse that's um uh, got patient care, Re really good inpatient uh, care business. You know, um, we want to reveal their traits. Um, they don't need to be fast movers, particularly. None of these particular members of staff are good, so we're going to toggle them around again. Ooh, what have we got here? So, oh, it's only 18% patient care, though. Less. 
less decent but she's a germaphobe and the problem with that is that when they go to the toilet they wash their hands three times so they're they're gone for quite some time but at the same time she's 47 percent patient care and she's loyal she takes a lot less salary i think we will go with her um and what we'll do we'll turn off patient transfers and nurse surgery so that she only deals with those here um on the ward um and so no doubt that she'll be instantly busy um you know we've also got the uh transfer nurses who are actually looking pretty busy as well i mean you saw how many transfer nurses that we had for orthopedia and it's completely empty so it's pretty busy uh oh uh oh well this isn't good this is very bad so the moment she arrives in the ER we need to send her straight to the ICU and get her into surgery that's what we need to do Rachel Jones hello um right so we can um see here um that we have an infectious diseases issue we're going to take uh the microbial sampling here we're going to do that so that we can get we can get it tested um otherwise i'm pretty happy here once once we've done that uh, we will send her she's not part of the emergency but we'll send her to infectious diseases and we will get her this medicine um so that's good enough for me we'll, we'll, we'll get her sent out linda cole look linda cole all sorted she is how is she oh no that's king let's see uh linda oh she's oh she's gone into surgery gosh she was one of the uh, trickier ones as well eh um right there we go it's a simple fracture of the humerus um that's what we have here so getting her arm in a cast i think isn't it yeah yeah and a bunch of things just to uh take the discomfort uh, bring the discomfort down um that, that that that's going to be super smashing great yeah look we've got somebody here with the red oh yes we need to get them to the icu asap oh look jane does have fainting so i'm pleased i checked for that we're going to give her the oxygen uh, and then we're going to send her to neurology um that's it life support oh my goodness she's in a coma uh oh and they can't do life support on okay well we've made pretty big error there with jane <laughs> we should have put her on life support before we send her to neurology because i don't think neurology can do that oh we also have a simple fracture of the tibia here so uh, a leg cast that one's simple uh oh we can't lose all of this based on jane anderson that would be ridiculous she's probably going to have to go to the icu um to be honest to get that life support now which is fine i mean well i say it's fine the icu is actually pretty busy oh no they all emptied out this morning okay the icu is fine she can go to the icu but like i said first of all she's going to have to go to neurology and then oh no god what, what, what if we kill her what if we kill her we get this close to doing everything and then we kill her here we go so we're sending you to the icu and then once you're there i would like you to get these two surgeries consecutively and then we will worry um about the heart um yeah okay jennifer lopez um okay are you part of oh she is she is okay so this again it's just the leg cast and then all's good right um oh she's here uh well I'll tell you what yeah get the leg cast she's now yeah fine right send her off to here we'll get an interview physical lower limb x-ray um just just you know to get all the bits done really but otherwise uh, uh oops otherwise she's fine um, done in fact so where are we here are they all in it, where is oh she's not here yet she's waiting for an ambulance so we've got you waiting for an ambulance but you're here that might actually be judy right now it is it is that is judy right now coming in okay this is the last one that we've not seen yet not started anything on yet um we're going to do a physical by the looks of it 
and emergency care. And while we're here, we might as well give her those meds. Uh, Patricia Garcia. Uh, you've had your lower limb x-ray. We're going to get you uh, the leg cast and all that sort of business. That's what we shall do. It's going to be fine. How much time have we got? 16 minutes. That's fine. That's absolutely fine, isn't it? Um, this is less fine. We've really messed up with Jane Hansen. <laughs> He messed up with Jane Anderson. Um, so with her stabilised here, because uh, let's just check. Yeah, can't do life support. We're going to send her to the ICU where we can do life support. Um, let's get that done. Take those off. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you'll be okay. Hopefully she'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, looking, looking not too bad here. Um, I think um, we will send her over to here, um, get her all of these bits. We'll do the interview. Um, we should probably do the blood test. Let's do abdominal palpitations, blood test. We should probably do the CT as well. Just, you know, it just uh, keeps it all neat, doesn't it? Blood draw, uh, CT. But she's, but she's done, right? She's Judy. Yeah, she's done. We're actually only... Uh, have three outstanding at this moment in time. Um, uh, Susan Clark isn't even a part of this. Okay, Linda King has just um, is just going for her leg cast. So she's now all good. So we have Jane Anderson who, um, oh there we go is now fine. She's on, on life support. Uh, we'll get her all of these uh, remaining things but otherwise um, she seems fine. Um, she made it, even with our ridiculous error. Um, shall we? Do you know what? I'm not going to tempt fate with the uh, VP shunting, because if she needs it, then we'll lose our tick. <laughs> She's had a CT, though, which uh, which was important. Um, brilliant. So uh, it's uh, just this lady. And she's going in for the first surgery. We just need to get this second surgery. Uh, so we are going to have to wait, um, first of all. Um, oh, look. This, Susan Clark's having a heart attack, everybody. That's awful. Let's send her uh, over to here and see if we can get that sorted. Because uh, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Um, what we could do here, actually, is... Uh, Jane Anderson, don't need to worry about you anymore. Uh, Linda King, we don't need to worry about you anymore. Um, and we can just clear them off uh, this list. Um, so that... They don't, they don't bother us anymore because they are all good. We've only got the one, only got the one to go. There we go. Clear all that out. Beautiful. Uh, who's James Robertson? Who, who hell are you? Um, let's have a look. Um, right. Let's do some neurological testing. Um, yeah, because yeah, he might have fainting. So, um, although he might also need. No, he's, 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 he's probably. Yeah, I mean, he says painkillers. He should be fine. We're just interested in uh, Brooke. Really, we're just interested in Brooke getting through her surgery. Um, yeah. Susan Clark, I don't, I, I don't need. Don't need to follow you. Yeah. It is just this lady. Um, and once this surgery is over and this one starts, boom, we would have completed this event. And then I wonder what we need to do next, which would be the last thing i'm uh, quite excited and then that would be this dlc completes it's very exciting indeed because with this dlc completes you know what happens i can upload my hospital to the workshops it's exciting times there it is there it is we've done it uh, you were able to complete the event in time you gain prestige boost for the day and money reward congratulations but surely that means this is this is done perhaps oh there it is Objective for insurance company has been completed. Successfully finished 10 accident events in a row. 10 out of 10 increased. So what is next? Reached 95% prestige at the end of the day in traumatology. I mean, we're five stars across the board, apart from administrative department. I don't know why that is. Um, that's not a, a big thing. So... Is it that at 8 p.m. we just need to make sure that we're at 95% prestige in this department? So traumatology is, is this one, right? Um, does it have like a 
percentage prestige look we're just uh, we're just five out of five you know well i think i think we might totally smash this uh what we could do well uh we'll just uh relinquish control of her um this guy's in a bit of a bad state we'll keep an eye on him what we're going to do is uh just take a look at those on the um oops mess up we're just going to take a look um, at the patients on the traumatology. I've forgotten how. Here we go. Right. Let's start with walk-ins, actually. Walk-ins on traumatology. You can see we've got three here. And we want to make sure that they are dealt with as efficiently as possible. Right. So, what do we have here? It's not looking ideal, is it? Um, so, right. She has first thing we need to do is I think get her hospitalized we need to get her concentrated oxygen uh, because she has this going on this is very bad this is very bad we're going to get rid of all these things um, and just get this done first this lady a uh, similar sort of situation actually uh, we're going to take over um, yeah I will take these off for now so we've got the hypoxia we've also got hypothermia which is why we've got these warmed IV fluids that we want to get in um, the protective dressing has gone in um, so for now we're just going to yeah get these done get her hospitalized now we've got Mary Cole as well now then where's Mary Cole so Mary Cole is looking really bad so um, what we might actually do is send her to the ER um, because she's looking really rough. Like she's she is not going to survive any minute now. And we'll do we won't do the interview. We're going to do a physical, um, and we'll also do blood pressure, um, and and we will do um, some other things as well. That'll be very interesting. <laughs> Uh, I can't do any of the things I think we might have to. No, because she was only on trauma. It'll be here somewhere. Where's the where's the thing? She's not had it? No. I've not selected it? No. So where is it? What if I... Is, I'm clear, there it is. Clearly going past it. Um, Elizabeth. Back with Elizabeth. Okay. Um, so we are going to do a physical now. We are going to do um, an evaluation here. Um, and I think that's going to find, uh, we should probably, um, also, <laughs> I'm just looking at this, we should absolutely, um, get her an ECG, but then I think we're, we're going to be all good, yeah, we'll, we'll do that, and we'll give her the beta blockers just in case she has got that going on. Who is this guy, and what does he want? Um, let's just do a quick physical. Uh, I think he might be bleeding or something. Oh no, he was hemorrhaging, but that's uh, all taken care of. Um, I, I really don't think I need to worry about this guy. Um, I think other than potential for this. Okay, no. Send them away and get them a lower limb x-ray. That's, that's fine, we don't need to worry about him. Right. So we've got stuff happening for these. Now, something else I'd like to do. Uh, I've forgotten how to do it. Once again, we're in trauma. We want to see who's already hospitalized um, and um, make sure that they're, that they're okay. So Lisa Green, who I think was part of that emergency, um, she needs a surgery. So let's get that arranged. Uh, we've got Thomas Cole here. Oh, look. He's got bits and bobs going on. Oh, he's had an operation. They're doing a PS blood control. God, he's had a load of operations. So I'm pleased that they're doing that. But I know that he's got no um, post-op issues because, look, this is clear. We've revealed all of this. He's absolutely fine. He is absolutely fine, which is great. Um, yeah, then uh, what we'll do, we'll put all these. Yeah, they are all on blue alert. Good. Um... We don't need to worry about this lady. Everything's fine. Everything's been revealed. Everything's tickety boo. Now, Casey Green, on the other hand, looks like he's got all sorts going on. 
Let's, should we just calm this down? He's going for an ECG. It seems like he's had a lot. Um, it's a whole confusing business. Um, so we're going to keep a closer eye on him, I think. Um, and then... Um, you seem to be all right. Let's take all this away and get you... Oops, not to the ICU. And get you all of these bits and bobs. Um, that's you sorted. And then... Got you as well. You're also fine. Get rid of all of this. Do that. Excellent. Excellent. Who's who, who are you? Have you just come in through the ER? You have indeed. Do a blood transfusion. Um, I shall relinquish control. I'm sure you're all fine. Actually, do a physical. <laughs> Actually, while I'm here, uh, if you could do these things, that'd be that'd be great. Also, do heart monitoring and 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 blood pressure. <laughs> Good. Um, Good, good. Mary Cole. Right. We have answers, don't we? Microwave burn. Um, she has microwave burn. Right, she is going to need to be hospitalised. So, let's send her to trauma, to the burns unit. And get her all of these things. She's going to be, she's going to be fine, everybody. She's going to be fine. Okay. Yes, she is. She's going to be fine. Get all that done. Ooh, and the physical uh, emergency care, rather. Um, now, Elizabeth has arrived in bed. Um, actually, get rid of these things for a moment so you can get some treatments done. Can we do that? The thing is, is that uh, I think these doctors are super busy. Actually, you're not at all, are you? So... Um, oh, you've gone, you've just gone somewhere. Where have you gone? Fulfilling needs, but I have a job for you. I do you? I think you should be helping this lady. Is that you? You should be helping this lady. Um, Carol is looking fine. Let's get all that going. Uh, actually, can we sort out this hypoxia, please? They're also, ah, oh, is that you going? No, or is it? who's getting what who is this i think you're doing elizabeth hill are you or are oh, you doing carol you're doing carol that's fantastic yeah so that's carol carol is absolutely fine so i just need elizabeth hill to get all of her treatments i'd really like that done um but i'd also like to get her an ecg it's quite important oh Oh, she just got something. The most important thing, so that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Probably don't need to worry about it too much uh, beyond that. Um, right, what is going on with this with this guy? He doesn't have anything wrong with his heart or anything, does he? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't believe so. But let's do physical he's had operations i oh, know he's he's had a what else could I just want to make sure that we found everything so look i don't think oh but we did a fast okay so that was fine so we could do with doing a chest x-ray and an upper limb okay let's do that so upper limb and chest that would be good for him um, yeah, I, I think at this point we just need to wait for, I think it's, is it 8pm or midnight? I'm not sure. And, and see what happens because I think everybody on trauma is, is, is as happy as they're going to get. I'm currently spending time with, uh, Brooke Miller here, um, who was threatening to leave because she'd been waiting all day. Um, so we've taken over, put her in hospital, her arms were crossed, so she is in a bad way. But look, we are approaching the 8 o'clock mark. I'm interested to see... Oh, look, she does have an irregular heartbeat. Let's get this sorted. Uh, interested to see if 8 o'clock is the mark. Um, and we can see here, um, yeah, for traumatology, still 5 out of 5. Um, we are doing great. Um, it's all looking wonderful here. All looking wonderful. Um, indeed it is and uh, we're, we're doing a great job at helping Brooke here as well 
Um, I think everybody is going to be fine. Look, we've emptied out a lot of these. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got the room statistics. All right, maybe it will need to be midnight. And we have dropped some stars. Oh no. Could that be could that be the problem though? At the end of the day. Because as it ticks over to eight o'clock, did you see that? Look, the prestige went down. Now I don't know if that's um, low below ninety five percent. It could be could be difficult to know. It is difficult to know. Um sort of where we are on this hmm I guess we'll wait until midnight and then see what happens there and then if this is uh, uh, if this doesn't go well um, and we don't get it then tomorrow we will focus entirely on the trauma tology department that's what we'll do let's see what happens at midnight now as we come to midnight typically everything's gone back up to five stars um, including look traumatology department so it dropped a bang on eight o'clock at the end of that shift but maybe the end of the day is considered midnight we can only hope because look we are fine again so um let's find out shall we shall we should we speed this up speed up faster go faster go faster let's see oh no somebody's somebody's collapsing where are they oh look they're in the um Cardi, cardiology department. Let's um, let's get rid of all that. Uh, Defib and beta blockers. Yes. Okay. And then midnight. <gasps> that was it. It was midnight. Wait for it. The whole game's hung. It's fine. Just give it a minute. <laughs> there we go. Objective for insurance company has been completed. Reached ninety-five percent prestige at the end of the day at traumatology. 200,000 uh, doubloon grant. Uh, another patient is collapsing. Um, not the best, uh, let's be honest, uh, we're going to take control of him, get him some IV, IV, IV antibiotics. So there we are, that is, um, uh, 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 I mean, okay, great. Um, the Traumatology DLC complete. Oh yeah, so the next step is um, for me to get this at hospital onto the workshop i want to do that so um uh, there's no staff in the hospital and so all the insurance policies are reset which means i essentially have to rebuild the hospital but i'm going to do it with massive blueprints so we can just create a load of blueprints and then on a new map paste them all in i'm probably going to do that during a stream so look out for that um and because as far as i understand it with um uh, Project Hospital Oxmoran have announced that there are going to be no more DLCs um, for this game. Uh, but I do have some ideas for a couple of more series on Project Hospital, so it's not over yet here uh, on the Blala channel for Project Hospital. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.